Hi, I'm Chris Goodman, and I'm an UltraX Ace and Innovator. And I'm Joshua Burkow, also an UltraX Ace and Innovator. Welcome to UltraTrix. For this three ways to video, we're going to look at three ways to update a value. So if we look at this workflow and in the filter tool, we can see that there's a hard coded date. And we want a way of automatically updating this without having to always go back to the workflow. So for the first way, we're going to bring in a date picking tool. Rename that so we can see it in the app interface and then connect it to the filter tool with an action tool. In the action tool, we're going to select the date operand. Then select replace a specific string. Then we need to click on the workflow canvas and change the workflow type to an analytic app. That then adds this magic wand icon next to the run icon. If we click on that, we can now choose a date. Then when we look at the results, we can see that we've only got the um, dates up to the date we selected on that date picker. For the second option, we're going to click on the workflow, click on the workflow configuration, and create a new workflow constant. Browse down to that user constant, give it a name. And then add the value. So here we'll just put the date in. And then we go to the custom filter in the filter tool, then replace the hard coded date with the user constant. Once we've run this workflow, we can now see that it only brings through the dates that are up to that user constant. For the third approach, we're going to use a date input tool. We connect the question out, output anchor to the question of the filter tool. And then go into the filter and replace the user selected date that we had from before. And now bring in a question. So we use the input anchor one. So this brings in um, the date coming in from the date input tool. Then we click on the magic wand to bring up the app interface window. We select a date. So we'll just choose a date in January. Click finish. This will then show us that the tool is working correctly as it only brings through the dates up to that point. As an additional um, third option, just bring in one more filter tool. Connect that into the Generate Rows tool. And then if we click on the Date tool and then click on Annotation, we can give the Date tool a name. So we just call this User Date. Then we go back to the filter and we'll put, replace the input connection number one with a question. So you put it in quotes with a percentage, it's question.userDate percentage quote and we don't need to connect the tool in so we'll just select the browse output to show you what's going on then we can go into here and we can see now that we can set a user date so if we run the workflow 
we've got the ability to update the value directly on the canvas or we can go into the analytic app interface select a date so I'll just pick 1st of January here if we get one, just one record come out so that shows you many different ways of using the app interface tools and workflow constants thank you for watching click here to watch more and here to subscribe